Okay, so we so there's a boat that's pulling on the skier, and to to reiterate the problem, it says water skiers often ride to one side of the center lines of a boat, as shown uh, shown in Figure uh, this is seven sixteen. So in this case, when ski boat is traveling at fifteen meters per second, and then and the tension in the rope is seventy five newtons. Uh, if the boat does 3,500 joules of the work on the skier in 51.3 meters, what is the angle theta between the tow rope and the center line of the boat? Well, basically what this is saying is uh, if the boat the, the boat goes this way horizontally, so the boat goes this way horizontally, 51.3 meters. So from, from wherever this started up until here, this is going to be 51.3 meters. And after this much, 3,500 joules of work has been done. So, so let's see. So 3,500. So we know we know that e before we do that, we know that equation is work e equals force times distance. So we're we're just gonna plug that in. Work is in joules, so we're just gonna plug that in. So 3,500 is equal to force, which is uh, well we don't we don't know the horizontal. We we know this force because this is tension. And that that's equal to seventy five newtons, but we don't know the horizontal force yet because the, the, it's fifty one point three meters is horizontal, so so we don't know the force yet. So we're gonna designate force as F, and then and then uh, multiply by fifty one point three. Well, if you divide thirty five hundred by fifty one point three, you get. Let me just do it on my calculator real quick. Uh, you get 68.226 as the force, as the force that's going horizontally. So I'm just going to label that as x. Well, now we have a little nice triangle here made up of um, made up of this force and and the tension like this. Okay, let me make this a little bit like that. Okay, well, if you draw another parallel line this way, that's gonna make another triangle. It because because this is theta. Uh, this is gonna be theta too, right? So now we're now, we know that tension here. We know that tension here is seventy five newtons, and we know that this right here is around sixty eight newtons. So in order to calculate um, theta, um, if if this is uh, if this is right angle, we know that adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine theta. So that's sokatoa. So that's koa or ka. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we we just write cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, which is which is this. So I'm just gonna round for now. 68 over 75. 75 and to solve for theta we just we just take arc arc cosine of each side and then we get theta is equal to arc arc cosine of 68 over 75 which happens to equal if you use the real number um, around 24.54 24.54 uh, and this is in, and this is degrees. So that's the theta. So that's that's what you plug in. Well, you have different numbers right here and right here. So uh, this is that may that might not be your answer, but if you use your numbers, you would you would have gotten a different answer than me. But that, that's that's basically how you do this problem.